Today I'm with uh, two people from the IT industry. Don't go away. Uh, it's really good. It's called the Tech Hub, the, the Tech Foundry. Tech Foundry. The Tech Foundry, and it has a Tech Hub here in Holyoke. Yes. And with us today is Marie-Ange Delimont and Philip Anthony, uh, who is the... Career and Recruitment Coordinator, also known as the coach. The, okay, <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, let's start with Marie- Marie-Ange. I said your name so bad. You, oh you my are God. getting there. You're Forgive getting there. Forgive me. <laughs> Marie-Ange. 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 Is it Marie-Ange? Marie-Ange. Marie-Ange. Okay, yes. Marie-Ange. Um, what, is, what, what do you do? And you told me the other day you started there as a member. Yes. So please tell us and you know your story and how you got to be part of the Tech Foundry. Absolutely. This is always a pleasure for me to talk about Tech Foundry as it is a love story for me. And Tech Foundry and uh, me was kind of accidental. Almost at like uh, every great things that happened to me in this community. And I like to sh- start my story with Tech Foundry with Head Start. Because as I moved in this country, I was chasing my tail and not really knowing what I was doing, trying to shrink and trying to figure out where I stood. And Head Start, when I got gave birth to my first daughter, um, connected me with so many training that kind of kept giving me my dignity back and offering me more and more. And as I was kind of lost, I would take everything they were offering. Ultimately, they offered uh, the training called Whole Family Approach to Career in partnership with Springfield Works and Dress for Success. And this is where my life started taking over. I was being called Marie (laughs) initially because I thought that was the right thing to do. I, I really wanted to shrink. I wanted to blend in. Nobody needed to notice me. I, everything I had done in my country was shaken away from ha- Haiti. Haiti's earthquake. 2012. And this, is, this was the mindset that I was in. And in that training, I had the opportunity to have a presentation from a tech foundry. Um, at that time, the director of talent acquisition in external relations who came to present the program. And I thought, mm, that seems like something to do it was during the pandemic again being lost and not having any other resources I had done a lot of work Uh, me and my husband we had at a point work seven jobs none of them taking us anywhere and I lost everything in terms of jobs during the pandemic I was just there not doing anything so when they pitched it I thought maybe there's a chance I also thought of other people that could benefit more from it because of their technical skills and I called I made the call and they, of course, gave me the information I needed for my relatives that I was thinking of. But they thought, what about you? I'm like, I'm not in tech, lady. And I do remember I'm not in tech. I'm in the medical field. I think I want to go from there. And they're like, you can connect it. And it it stayed like 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 little seed that you plant. And I joined the institution and everything seemed unreal. From the pitch, the first pitch, to me being in the program, being with those other people that I never met in my life, whether staff or other student members, and even the name that they give us. We are students because we're learning, but we become integrate members of that community, that platform that they offer us to regain our dignity. So from Dress for Success, I gained my, my, back my name, myself, really realizing this is the name that they've always called me. That's what I identified to. I don't have to translate it. I'm going to step back into my name. And I stepped back in that community at Tech Foundry where one of the instructors had difficulty pronouncing my name. But even if it would take five minutes at the beginning of every class, he would make sure he would repeat it over and over to, to, for me to feel that he was addressing me. And it wasn't a special treatment that I was receiving. Every single other member felt it was a customized training for them. No matter what level of technical skills they had, they were going to take us over to offer us the, this world. And so it's a love story for me. My husband <laughs> always say, uh, I, I think this is my rival. The, the, you know, Tech Foundry is my <laughs> rival. I hope you remember to come back home. But always thrilled to see that light in my eye that I had lost through the pandemic. And I never thought I would regain. But when I was participating in the training, not knowing that I would end up working for them one day, I I was amazed in awe and pushed 
to do better, to do more, to unleash my true potential. So, so it was kind of a no brainer. <laughs> well, it took a lot of brain for sure, <laughs> because uh, you were trained to be a medical doctor. Yes. And and we know that when people come from other countries, certain other countries, you come here, you can't get your medical license. Yeah. Uh, and there's there's really no easy path to get it. You have to go back to medical school and get yourself an enormous debt to learn the ways from here. Um, but I am so glad that you found a calling because yeah. it sounds like a vocation. It is. Yeah, it is. that is something I, from I the heart. I actually found something else with myself. I didn't know it. But then when I go back to my childhood, I realize I've been doing that all the time. I am what I call now a good news spreader. If I find something good, everybody's going to know about it. So if it's not ready to be shared, do not let me know. <laughs> or make me make make sure I, I know it's not ready and I'm going to participate in making it ready with you until I can share. And so as I was in the program, I couldn't stop talking about it. Yeah, I would tell everybody. I have so many relatives who actually joined the program after me oh, and okay. are working in the IT industry now. Relatives of relatives, anybody I knew at my medical f facility, the places that I would take my parents for medical care, mm -hmm. anybody I was sitting next to, have you heard about this institution? It would change your life. And so without getting paid for it, I was already doing the work of mm -hmm. kind of outreach. Mm -hmm. And I seamlessly was offered a position there, not as an outreach a coordinator, but as a, at that time, a workforce yeah. development manager, because as uh, an integrated part of the program, I knew the career readiness aspect of it. I had been to many career readiness programs myself, and I had showcased a good standing in the program that they were they were using my assignments. I'm going to be a little proud of that as models for some other good. students. So that kind of gave my value for this, but it was the aspect of sharing. Yeah. Go to people that you don't know. Tell them about this good news. And this leads me to, to Phil. If they... You are the coach, and what does that mean? What kind of the members or the students who go there? What kind of coaching do they need? Um, so, of course, there's the the uh, the professional development, career readiness aspect, right? Which is what they're getting in 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 addition to the IT support training that they that they get at Tech Foundry, but it 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 goes further than that because it goes into their lives, right? And we we're dealing with so much. They're dealing with so much while they're going through this program. The program is by no means easy, right? If, you know, but we let them know. IT we, is not easy. Yeah, we tell them not. It, it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it, right? So while they're trying to go through this intensive program and learning so much information in such a short period of time, just for 14, 18 weeks, um, you know, life is still going on. They still have families. They still got jobs. They still got children. They got so many, so much stuff going on. And, and I got to kind of get them in the mindset of using this time that you're really developing and changing your life as a distraction from what's going on at the moment. Is, um, if they feel, um, is this, are there classes every day? So they're, they're five days a week and uh, three days are, are remote, two mm -hmm. days are in person. And how many hours is it? Every? Five hours a day. Oh, so yeah. So yeah. this is a huge commitment it, it yes. to, to do this because like you said, there. People have all these other things in their lives, right? Their kids, their parents, their families, their jobs, crisis, traumas. Life be life. And be, yes, exactly. <laughs> life be life. And life does not. That's right. And, and, and so. How much does it cost? Um, nothing. Nothing. Well, it does. It costs well, commitment. Right. It costs, it costs your commitment. Time, commitment, your, their yeah, dedication. Yeah. They have to, they have to follow the guidelines, right? Yeah. We, we we try to over prepare them mm -hmm. so there's dress codes right there's we give them a, an, an employee handbook kind of oh this handbook. is good so then basically if I understand this correctly don't be going there with your pants on you know falling down and no, you can all see your no, underwear actually if you do that because that's mm -hmm. what you were used you you, you you are still welcome but we will train you into how, how to present yourself in your best light for yes. any employer. Right. First impression is always something. We want people to go beyond what you show, mm -hmm. but we have to be real. Nobody's going to give you the time of day according to the way you come, and everybody has to understand that. Once you get in, you get to become fully yourself and let them know what more you have inside. So come with your pants down if that's what you have. Yeah. We will show you this is what an employer is looking for. And then if they, when... 
when they're done with the course, do they get a certificate or a diploma or, or something that says So they get, official? They get two. They'll get a, a certificate certificate of completion from Tech Foundry, uh -huh. but they also they also graduate with a, a, a Google IT support certification. Oh, wow. So they are ready to work IT support, help desk. They are ready to go. Do you help them? Does Tech Foundry help them? find a job yes. in the in the region or anywhere the, the they say no i want to go the goal of the program is that we could actually just take them from the beginning and just look for a job for them but we know the preparation state that that's necessary but the the entire goal of the program is to help them find not only a job but start a career we have I, um there's a lot of programs that offer you uh, some training for poverty jobs and we all know that exists a lot of those jobs It's because it's the circumstance we have to work on that. But IT is the fastest way to get to a living wage job, not be on any more assistance, and really take your family from one situation to another. My life turned completely mm -hmm. upside down. Mm -hmm. Well, downside up, yeah. I would say. Yeah. With Tech Foundry, I got to positions that I never imagined myself in in such a short period of time. Mm -hmm. Actually, I wasn't imagining myself in it anymore. I was building a pa pa way for my kids. And this is the circumstances for a lot of us. Mm -hmm. We think we're too old that we don't we ha we don't have time to do a, not even an associate degree, let alone a bachelor. Mm -hmm. There's not enough time. We have other responsibilities. We're taking care of the elderly parents that we have mm -hmm. with, to, with to our kids, other kids in the neighborhood. We don't think we have an opportunity. So It this did. offers no, sorry, us exactly not only the opportunity to train, but to help us find the right match in terms of our next job to actually climb the ladder. What is the, more or less the, the, the pay range if they fill for when you graduate from this program, if you would be hired, say, in this region? So th that's the interesting thing, right? So the pay range, the, it depends on the organization. Mm -hmm. And it can, it can go from minimum wage to, to $20, $22 an hour. Mm -hmm. But IT, the industry itself, mm -hmm. is the only industry I know of that you can, within a matter of five years, double your pay mm. right in most organizations you work there for a year you get an evaluation and you get a percentage of a raise mm -hmm. or not right mm -hmm. um it is not like that it's a totally different world and it's a career because a we career. are in an era where it is absolutely necessary, necessary. i don't even know what it means <laughs> what does it <laughs> mean information, information technology. technology okay thank you yeah <laughs> thank you for the information <laughs> este, so is it what is it what it, what is it is it like putting cables in computers or so that's a, that's a loaded question because there's so many so different many. aspects of it right uh -huh. so yeah putting cables in a computer camera systems um i mean you name it running running cables for ethernet and fiber mm -hmm. uh you, you just just opening up a computer and fixing it your laptop your cell phone oh do you have Anything to know calculus and things like that, that yeah <laughs> you have to at least have some basics and we do an assessment yeah. at the beginning yeah. of the to register for the program to know your level and it's the level that you need is quite quite basic really things that you've learned in elementary school that you've kept and have been applying in your life but okay. there's that assessment that help us and help you know if it's the right stage este, step. so you have to be okay let me see if i got this right you have to know some science yes some math mm -hmm. and just have a drive have a drive and have basic computer skills yes basic, basic computer, yes. computer skills and I, i would i would strongly encourage a passion for computers yes. yeah Yeah, I mean, when the most successful people in IT, IT is their lifestyle. Yes, that's what they do. When they're working and I, I, I working during the day, they're doing IT. When they go home, they're doing they're something doing IT, IT <laughs> right? So it's, is it? I'm sorry, it's Phil. Yeah. Go on. So it's so it, it, the most successful people. It's just it's a lifestyle. You're doing what you love doing. Some people, though, they don't know that they have that passion. We have to sometimes help them find it. Some people were attached to their devices or what the IT person. At, at home, whoever has a problem, they end up being the one fearless to help fix it. And they don't know that they're ever going to make a career with this. If you were going to say something? No, that was it. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, so does it have to be it. the computer that you love? Can it be that you love your tablet or your phone? So we've How do you get successful. those? Yes, we've had successful people yeah. who have never touched the computer touched before, the computer. but a tablet and a phone, and we help them transfer those skills. What is the age group? 18 and up. Yeah. 18 and up? Yeah, we haven't we haven't set a, a limit. Age limit? The and age the limit people who time. go to the the people that you've been coaching is it a, like 
what has been like the oldest person that you've worked with more you know uh, the oldest age. right now is in their 50s so yeah. maybe a little bit a little bit older than me so um, people who are entering the workforce or changing their changing careers, their careers. Yeah. and is there like a guarantee of of work or is there a guarantee that eventually you're going to get work in this because every company telephone companies mobile companies businesses mm -hmm. governments need it so all of that. I, I can't. I wouldn't say guaranteed because it also depends on the person. The person. Right. Right. Um, if you put the work in and you follow the formula that we that we give you, I, it's it, I could say guaranteed. And but it all depends on on you, right? You have yeah. to put the work in. We give you job we job hunting workshops. We we have networking events. So you can come and meet other people from uh, past past cohorts and mm -hmm. meet other employers and meet. We do job fairs. We do everything. So um, you're basically. Providing people at no cost except their commitment and passion. Correct. To get into a field that pays well, yes. that will always be around. Yes. <laughs> and all they got to do is just show up. All they got to do is show up, learn, but show up fully. And fo show up yeah. fully. Yes. Okay, go and, ahead. And not only that, it's we, I, I like to call Tech Foundry a bridge because we not only serving those members who are learning, but we're serving the community by providing the right. employers the workforce that they're looking for, which is actually how Tech Foundry was created in the first place. It was a group of employers who couldn't find the qualified workforce, but also people who really wanted to do what they were doing. And so they decided to start creating it. And it really quickly shifted to serving those people mainly, making sure they have that place where they peel those layers and shine with their talents, with all the so soft skills that they've been acquiring in the service industry. So many of them come from the service industry and they don't know what treasure they're sitting on. Hmm. Because it, uh, old, old times, the IT person was a guy sitting in a dark room, not wanting to talk to anybody. <laughs> that doesn't exist anymore. And resenting when somebody would exactly. say, my email's not working. That's not the IT case people anymore. have, Mira, I gotta tell you, Marianne. <laughs> uh, IT people can be such snobs. Oh, we can snob be so Okay. No, no. I'm not saying <laughs> that you are. I'm yeah. just saying in other no, organizations, you get in touch. Yeah. This was the stereotype. And this is why some people never pictured themselves in it, even when they're passionate. Yeah. They're the ones doing the work. Even sometimes they go into those industries, and if there's a problem at their job, they're the ones letting them, let me try to fix it. Let me Google it. Okay. And we teach them, Google's your best friend. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You were Absolutely. saying. No, no, it's true. Okay. So the IT snobs, go ahead. <laughs> Sometimes, we all have sometimes people get into IT because they don't like humans. Yeah. Right? They'd right. rather work with computers. Mm -hmm. So you you will run into those people who you are will. not the most friendly people yeah. because they don't they don't like people. Yeah. That, right? and, and that's and that's <clears throat> and valid, so, of and, course. And so there's a huge, huge market for that in IT, right? For introverts. People with remote jobs, yeah. people who work strictly, you know, behind the scenes. Great, great opportunities for them, but there's also opportunities for people who are extroverts who like to help people and like to solve problems and just show people what they can do. Yes. Is IT also, for instance, if you graduate from this program and get hired, the employer may say, listen, we are getting bombed by, by scammers or spammers. IT security. IT yeah. security. You're going to cybersecurity, mm -hmm. which yeah. is getting so big right now. Mm -hmm. And Tech Foundry wants to not not venture. We're already offering, like Philip said initially, we offer people more than the entry level skills that they need. We start with those entry level skills. We make sure they have the basics of them. We make sure they know how to document. And documentation is a big, big aspect in our program because that's what the market needs right now. Mm -hmm. So many industries are so backed up with their documentation. And we make sure they understand the, the reasons for documentation and that they like to even loving it. We have those from this current cohort who are saying documentation is life. And then we give them more and we have that, that chapter that week of IT security. We do networking as well with them. We do system administration, offering them the next step already in their chapter. This is, this is very interesting because, you know, when you think of uh, people graduating from high school and then they go either they're going to the uh, military, they're going to college, they're going into the trades. Do, is there a general knowledge? Oh, you can also go to... The Tech Foundry. Yes. And and not only when you come to Tech Foundry, you graduate with a job. Mm -hmm. You have a profession. Mm -hmm. You spend 18 weeks. And some of them, after 16 weeks, are hired because when they go to their internships after 14 weeks, they're like, we're keeping you. We're not letting you go oh, anywhere. Wow. So you have a job 
that's catapulting you toward a career. And you can also decide to go the college route because Tech Foundry has articulation agreement with different colleges and particularly with Holyoke Community College mm -hmm. when you earn up to 12 credits when you graduate the program. So you have a full semester free to actually keep going to your life. If you don't want to go toward that co college route, we always encourage the certification route with tech technology. It's the field that's going to keep giving. It's mm -hmm. ever evolving, ever giving your curious mind a place to never get bored. Mm -hmm. So we keep encouraging and Philip keeps meeting with those people. What's your next step? What's your next Absolutely. step? Absolutely. What do they say? So, I mean, what, what, what she, she's talking about like um, previous alums. Mm -hmm. I coached alums that, that went to went to Tech Foundry even long before I became a part of Tech Foundry, right? Mm -hmm. They still need the support. It's kind of like a fraternity. It's a family. You continue mm -hmm. to be a part of Tech Foundry no matter what. And as you continue to give back by always spreading the word of Tech Foundry, mm -hmm. we continue to give you by being a resource for you. Yes. For as long as you live, you, <laughs> pretty much. You, you both keep saying 16 weeks. I think I figured it out in my head. Is so that four months? 18 it's, it's 18 weeks. 18 weeks. It's 18 weeks. Yeah. Four so okay, it's, so it's 14, 14 weeks, weeks of class. Yeah, and how many months is that? That's, uh, it's about four months. About yes. four yeah. months. Okay. And then, um, and then you got four weeks of internship. Okay. That's when we place you with an organization mm -hmm. to work in their IT department or mm -hmm. an actual IT uh, company, mm -hmm. and you get hands-on life experience and learning from those professionals. This is so awesome. And yes. I mean, we currently have at least five um, five alum from different cohorts that work for Springfield Public Schools who were interns. interns. Wow. Yes. And just became employees in different cohorts, different and, years, and, and they've been there have, different times. We have some MSPs. What's that? Managed service providers who are the typical IT mm -hmm. companies who count on Tech Foundry to... with. Uh, tech Foundry is their talent acquisition yeah. strategy yeah. because of the qual quality of uh, people that we have. They are learning what they need on the ground. What they're going to need to practice, they're already learning with us in-house and they come with that plus of documentation because, again, this is quite a lot right now. So they really want them. They want us. And we have what we call an intern matching event that we do. We are modifying it to make sure it's simplified and accessible to every employer who wants to partner with Tech Foundry because not only our services are free to the participant, it's also free to the employers. Wow. Where, how do you get funded? We fundraise. Uh, we fundraise all, that's, it's an it's a ongoing process. You know, we, we're our CEO and our deputy director are always out there um, you know, looking for grants and, 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 and different donors and always trying to get uh, funding to keep this going. Um, mm -hmm. It is a struggle, though. Yeah. I would like to put the emphasis on this <laughs> because as we are getting better at this job, we're noticing what is even more needed from our members for them to be successful because the ultimate pay for Tech Foundry mm -hmm. is the success of a Tech Foundry alum. Mm -hmm. And when life keeps coming in, it's difficult because when we lose any of them, and when I say lose, they can't continue. Their kid becomes sick. Their spouse loses their job. They they have to get that next shift in their job to go next. They, they cannot. We, we have to let them go because we don't have the possibility of paying them a stipend to do the program. Right. There are different programs similar to Tech Foundry that are not technology that are kind of paying people to learn. This is where we want to learn because this is the next step that this community has to take. Do we really want a brighter future for mm -hmm. Western Mass? This is where we go. Technology is not only here to stay, it's the future. It's here with us. Everything we're doing here, sitting there talking to you is not possible without technology. Yeah. And nothing people is doing in their home or their pr professional life right now cannot go without technology. Every single company, if they don't have an IT department, they have an IT person with an outsourced IT de company that's helping there. Okay. Yes. Este, Philip, what do you like about technology? Uh, everything. I mean, I've always. I used to be that guy, right? I mm -hmm. used to be that guy in my family. I'm like, oh, I'll fix it. I'll fi and my computer's not working. I'll fix it. So, uh, about wow, like, what was it? Two, Fourteen years ago, mm -hmm. about thirteen years ago, I took I took a class and got my A plus certification. And I think that was the only reason they <laughs> they, they they brought me in for an interview at Tech Foundry because. <laughs> That's another story how I ended up here. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, did, yes. did, you, did you study at Tech Foundry? That's how no, you. No, no. Okay. So, so I, um, so you know, I've been doing comedy for many, many years. And you're so and funny. <laughs> thank for you. real. And Laughing <laughs> Latinos. Let's plug it. <laughs> LaughingLatinos.com, right? So, yes. I got a couple of tickets for the December 16th. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I booked my tickets too. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> uh, so, 
so do, you know it, my my comedy's been you know taking a different path as I got into more fundraising and then then I got booked to do some motivational events and I and I really enjoyed helping people that way that's so why I realized how powerful laughter is and uh, so I told my wife I'm gonna get into coaching people like I've been people have been calling me and this and that and then I said how do I get how do I get booked as a coach often enough to grow just like comedy or anything is repetition. And then about a week after that, I got a notification on my phone. I'm sitting in front of my computer, and I look, and it said, Tech Foundry posted a position. Uh, I was doing comedy full-time. I wasn't looking for a day job. Uh, But I opened it because I have a relationship with Tech Foundry indirectly. Um, My wife's son used to teach at Tech Foundry. Oh. So every time he was home on break, because he studied computer uh, computer engineering, at Syracuse University, and he, he got his bachelor's degree there. So every time he was home on break from college, I would drive him to Tech Foundry where he would teach as an intern. And in fact, the day I asked him for permission to give his mother a ring, I was oh. dropping him off at Tech Foundry. Oh, this guy is so, like the yeah. most romantic. Yes. Yes. Was so yes. page. I always tell him, oh my God, <laughs> it's beautiful. So, so I, I opened it, and then I, you know, I read the description, and I'm like, this is a coaching position. I was like, wow. So I, I'm sitting from my computer. I just, you know, opened it up and I just submitted my resume, um, which was mistake number one, right? <laughs> mistake because, number one. <laughs> because I, I didn't do what I teach. I teach people like, make sure if you look at the position, format your resume, yeah, right to highlight yeah. why you're applying for that yeah. position. You need to put stuff in there that says I do this. Mm-hmm. I didn't do that. <laughs> no. I have a great resume <laughs> in sales and marketing and yeah. and advertising and all these different yeah. things. The and, only thing that attracted us was his A plus. Was the A plus, yeah. but they uh-huh. brought me in. So then I interviewed and I had the first interview with with Marianne and, and Kayla, and then they were like, "We're going to bring you back for a role play." So we came back and they didn't want to do the role play because we kind of connected already. And so they brought in Jessica, and they did a role play with Jessica. Who's Jessica? Jessica is now our, our, our instructor. Uh, she's uh, an assistant. Yeah, assistant. Our oh, instructor. Okay. Right. So then, um, also a tech also alum. alum. Yes. So then, uh, they, our, our CEO Trisha was on vacation, so they sent her an email. Hey, we got our guy, and she was excited. Oh my God! Really? Send me his resume. She's like, that Uh-oh. person's not qualified for so, that job. Uh, so she gets the resume. She says, how is this the guy? <laughs> and they're like, no, trust me, this is the guy. And she's like, but I don't see it. It's a nice resume, yeah. right? But but for sales, marketing, advertising, what yeah. is it? It doesn't say anything about coaching here. Yeah. And so, it, I mean, it got a little heated. I think there was <laughs> a, the, I think the, the term was, do whatever you want. Yes. <laughs> right? And then we're like, well, why don't you call him? So, yeah, so she set up another interview through uh-huh. Zoom with me and about 10 minutes and she stopped me. She's like, okay. And she said, let me just say something. She told me the story. She says, I didn't think you were the guy. Mm-hmm. They keep saying you're the guy. And she said, but I think you're the guy. And she offered me the job on the spot. Sweet. And that never dies. Yeah. Sweet. Every single victory we have because of Phil, I make sure I remind, <laughs> yes, he, I, he told yeah, you. Yeah. Was the guy. Yeah. Yeah. They're always so hitting her with the I told joke. you so. <laughs> yes. But, but Trish is amazing. Um, the, everyone there is amazing. We, you know, I think that the synergy that we, yes. we have together as a team. Oh, I thought she was um, lovely. When I went to yes. yeah. your office in Springfield, I, there's, there's an office here in Holyoke at 207. Yes. the Maple Street, which is the Pignelli Center. That's the tech hub. That's the, the tech, tech hub. hub. That's and I'm gonna be meeting Shannon there yes. later today. Maybe. I think. Este, where was my thought? And oh yeah, Trisha. Trisha. She was so lovely because when I went to the, to meet with Shannon in the wrong place, yes. which was at, your Springfield, at Springfield office, office, she was on the phone with somebody. She was having like a real like business conversation. <laughs> And I was just walking around. You saw. I was yeah. just walking around yeah. like, I own this place. <laughs> yeah. And and then I went to her and said, is Shannon here? Anyway, she she was so, so considerate, you know, said, excuse me. You know, I had the person on the phone wait for a second while she told me, no, Shannon's in you know, Springfield. Like then you with, came and then you yeah. were there. And then I would here we say are. Great people attract great people. And Tech Foundry always kept proving that to me. Yeah. I remember when we were changing CEO because when I started, she wasn't the CEO and I felt such pain. I was deeply in pain as I was losing a family member. How was it? What is it going to be like? Like, mm. are we losing our culture? And when she came in first, she established a meeting. We were a staff of three mm-hmm. at the time to yeah. start with. She established a private meeting with everyone before she started. So the 
her first day never felt like her first day, I yeah. think, to any of us. Because it was not only hitting the ground running, but as if we had worked together forever. We all love Trisha. Yes. Yeah. Este, and well, the, yes. Th the thing that people, I mean, I like, I always like to point out is that Trisha's, her background is really what, what adds so much value What's to her background? Uh, so I'm sure you've heard of United Personnel. It was one of the biggest staffing agencies in the area. Uh, so she owned that for years. Oh, wow. And so she once she, she sold the, the organization and then wanted to move into the nonprofit. So she brings that that skill set yeah. of finding people jobs, which is our ultimate yes. goal at Tech Finding Foundry. prepared finding people, people right. jobs so that she, yeah. dovetail with their exactly. Exactly. So she brings that skill set and that, that special. That's, that's Plus she's super nice. Yes. yes. So, yes, so in closing... In closing statement, thank you to the guy. <laughs> the that guy. would That's be Philip Anthony. He's the guy. Yes. Marianne, thank you very much. If, the, if there's anything you want to add to as we close this, this conversation. Um, I'm not sure how, how soon someone's going to see this, but our applications are now open. Until um, when? Until December 31st, yes. I believe. Well, yeah, we're going to put this up real yeah, soon. Yeah, so um, apply. Okay. Apply, apply, apply. What do you need to know when you apply? If you, if you, go you to the want website? to know more, you can yeah. visit the website. It's called we what? We have thetechfoundry.org, but remember to put the before Tech Foundry. Mm -hmm. And you will find different options, not only the application button that will invite you to fill some information about you and an assessment, but you can also register for virtual info sessions that happen every Tuesday and Thursdays. At, on Tuesdays, it's at noon. On Thursdays, at 5 p.m. for people of different schedule. And we have open houses that we're going to offer soon. We have one actually happening tomorrow from 2 to 3 when you can come in that inspiring building to feel the vibe and see some of our instructors Which and inspiring people. building? The one you the visited. One oh, the one on 207 Maple. Yes. No, no, okay. 1391 Main Street. 1391 Main Street. 1391 Street Street Springfield. is Springfield. Springfield. Yeah. Is that the inspiring see, building? The, yeah. Both okay. of our buildings are inspiring, <laughs> but the, the IT support training that we're talking about happens in Springfield. And you can meet some actually other students and asking them, those student members, how is it for them having a real moment uh, information? But if you can't do the next, the tomorrow open house, we have another open house on December 6th, happening between 5 to 6 p.m. And Where? At, again, in the Springfield location, yeah. because that's where the IT support is done. And we will be so well, happy to welcome you and share this with you. It might not be for somebody hearing the this program today, but it's probably for somebody. Well, what I find so uh, awesome, so amazing about the Tech Foundry is that you just have to show up with a commitment. Yes. That's it. It doesn't cost you money. No. Yeah. It takes time, but everything mm -hmm. that you have to achieve that's worth it takes time. It takes yeah. time. It's not going to land on R your lap. Right from the beginning, uh, once you apply, there's still a process. Yeah. It's like, like a job, right? Yeah. So you have to fill out the questionnaire. Mm -hmm. You have to take the, the, the multiple choice assessment, mm -hmm. and then we schedule you for an interview, mm -hmm. and you go through the interview process just like a job, and we have only 50 slots to fill, 25 in the a.m., 25 in the noon class. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we, we have over almost... Last time we had like 130 applicants yes. mm -hmm. and we had to pick, you know, just 25 and 25 out of yeah. those 130. Yeah. So it's not easy for us, but we try to pick the best, yeah. you know, the best well, possible. Yeah, that, people that who are also ready because there are some people who have all the abilities but are not quite ready yet because of so many things happening in their lives. And we connect them with community partners who can actually help them prepare to get to the step of joining us. I, I that is actually me valuable for me because if I didn't do Dress for Success before Tech Foundry, I don't think I would have had the confidence to believe I was able to do it. In an info session, there's a little bit that you get from the institution. You don't know the magic that you're gonna get inside, but I did not think I had enough IT skills. My skills were unclogging the paper from the printer for my mother. That was the role I had. And then of course I could work on a computer, but when and one thing that Tech Foundry believes, Tech Foundry is rooted in partnership. We have an amazing program, but we are nothing without this community, without the members that value us, and without the employer partners who join us and value the members that we train to show them what they are able to do. Oh my goodness, I can't add to that. Can, are you gonna add something? No, I think Okay, <laughs> okay Mar Marianne, mm -hmm. Philip Anthony, thank you so much for sharing information about the Tech Hub. I hope that more people will be aware of the really good work that you're doing to, to open doors for people. 
so that they can have a good, solid, well-paying career. Wonderful. Absolutely. Thank you so much. IT for that. is it. I'm not the first one to say. IT it. is I know. it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Always nice Shannon. talking to I, you. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Thank you so and, much. And it's, it's so, so great.